Everybody hold still for just a moment. And now start moving your arms. Move side to side. Get up, walk away. And walk back. If you noticed, there's a little graph at the bottom of the screen that just had a couple spikes every time I did something. So when I put my arms down, another little spike there. Why is that? And how am I doing it without any components with the Arduino Uno? Let me put a slight disclaimer on this. I am using one component right now, a green LED. It is not necessary though. It's entirely there for visualization. The only thing I am using with the Arduino, which I wouldn't even count as a component because everybody's got some, is two solid core wires twisted tightly together, one plugged into A3, one plugged into ground. I don't know why this works, but this picks up motion in living things. So if I move my arms around, start flailing around, you're gonna see it in the graph. And the closest I've ever come to explaining this is capacitive coupling. So what it is, is the antenna is leaching a little bit of electricity from you, you are leaching a little bit of electricity from the antenna. And the differential that happens when you move around is what the Arduino is picking up. So all I've done is pull that analog input thousands of times a second, averaged it a little bit, and then watched the changes from, re from average to average and turned that into a number, which I'm sending over the serial port to processing, which is coming down here. And it's really picky. It's not perfect. So it likes objects of big mass. So if I move my arm back and forth there, it might pick it up a little bit, but if I move my whole body, it's gonna freak out. It likes bigger things, so it's not really good for arms. Your foot is it's gonna pick up because it's my whole leg moving in that case. But you can use this without any components to basically detect presence of living things in a room. So for Internet of, uh, Internet of Things uses, you can use these to statistically see where all the motion in your house is without you know paying $10 per PIR sensor or setting up uh, ultrasonic sensors. It's just wires. So if anyone can explain to me why the hell this works, that would be great because I've known about this for like a year. I've posted about it before, but the capacitive coupling thing is the closest I've come to explaining this weird phenomena. And I can only do it on the Arduino. I can't do it on an ESP on that ADC. I haven't been able to do it with any other ADC but this one. So I have no fucking clue. However, I'm working on a library right now that'll be ready soon so that you can easily incorporate this into your own project. I have opened the source code for this Arduino Uno right here, and you can download that in the comments. But yeah, I, I, I don't know why it works, but it works pretty well. Let me bring in some cats. I wanna see what the cats do with this. Let me open up some cat treats and see if it picks up the cats headed towards me. Kitty, kitty! Come here! Hi, Bree. Hi, you want a treat? Hi, Eddie. Do you want one? Hey. Come here. Come here, you don't want one? 